Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to split any image into multiple different segments. So let's open a new document and for this demonstration I'm simply going to turn my page round. So I'm going to go to layout, orientation and select landscape. Now I'm going to select my image. So go to insert, pictures, click on the drop down and you'll obviously pick your image from pictures from file but I'm actually going to select a stock image from Microsoft Word. So I'm just going to click on that. Over in the search bar here, I'm just going to type in face and press enter and then select this image here and click insert. Once you've inserted your image in order to move it, you need to select it, right click on it, go down to wrap text and select in front of text. And now we can move this around. Now, in order to split this up equally, we're going to have to have some guidelines. And in order for those guidelines to stay where they are and not move, we're going to have to go into the headers and footers. Don't worry, this is not challenging. It's really simple. All you need to do is double click at the top or the bottom of your page. And you see here we've got header and footer. Now what we're going to do is go to insert shapes, click on the drop down, select a line, click anywhere, hold down your shift key and draw down or drag down and you'll get a perfectly vertical line. Now all we need to do is to go up to this icon here. If you can't see it, it's because you haven't selected the line and make sure you're on shape format. Go to this icon here, go down to weight and then go down to two and a quarter. So we've got a nice thick line. Then click on this line, move it. You'll see it's a little bit clunky so press your Alt or Option key and it will allow you to smoothly move that line right up to the edge of your image. Once you've done that, you can copy and paste it. You can do that multiple ways. You probably all know how to copy and paste, but just select it, go to copy, deselect it by clicking above the header line and click paste. And then move this over to the other side of your image and pop it there. Then we're going to duplicate it another time by holding down Command or Control and V. Then we're going to move this one roughly to a third because we're going to break this down into six different rectangles. Command or Control V again and once again just move this roughly. If that happens just Command or Control Z, click and move it across. And then to select all of these, hold down your Command or Control key. Just click on all of them. You can see the little green balls appear at the top and the bottom. Go up to shape format, go to align and select this one which is distribute horizontally and that will mean there is an equal distance between all of these lines. So splitting this equally into three columns. Deselect them, select one of them and then just press command or control V again and then select the top line, pull it down it should click when it's in a perfectly horizontal position. And once again, we're going to move this to the edge of your image. That's just copied and pasted another one in because you can actually copy and paste using your Alt or Option key. I'm going to copy this and paste it one more time. And we're going to split this image in half. So roughly between the two horizontal lines. Then we're going to select them all holding down that Command or Control key. So we've now selected all three horizontal lines, go to shape format, go to align, and this time distribute vertically. And then you can see we have got a grid line behind this image. So once we finish the grid lines, double click in the main area here. So now we've come out of the headers and footers and now we're back into the main document. Now in order to see these grid lines, we're gonna to have to change the transparency of this image. So if we select it, Go to picture format, go to transparency and let's just turn it down. Don't worry, we'll turn it back up once we've finished. But to turn it down, you now can now see we can see all these grid lines. So the first thing we need to do before we start cropping it is to duplicate it. So the easiest way to do it is to select the image, hold down your Alt or Option key and click and drag it to the side. I'm going to drag it to the side because it just keeps it out of the way. Now deselect because they were both selected, reselect this image, go to crop 
and now you can click on these little corner icons and move it and what you'll find is as you draw it up close to these lines it will actually click onto those guidelines once you've done that just press enter and you've got your first rectangle click on this image don't move it hold down the alter option key click and drag another image in don't forget you can hold your alter option key down to continually make that motion quite smooth in order to get that image exactly where you want it go back to picture format and select crop and then once again we'll crop out the middle one once I've done this one I'm going to speed up the video and then I'm going to come back at the end show you how to sort the transparency out as a whole and then how to align them all okay so now we've got all of our rectangles we double click back at the top we we'll go back into the headers and footers all you need to do is select each line and just delete it double click back into the center and then we can start to align our rectangles now now before we align them I can just go back and hold down my command or control key and select all of the rectangles go to picture format go to transparency and put it back at its full transparency and then you can either line all these up which I'll show you in a second or if you want to do something a little bit more with a bit more of an effect don't forget you can just select them and you can resize them and make something a bit more artistic if you choose to do so and obviously move them around any which way alternatively to line them all up perfectly we'll take the top row here now you can space these out as much as you want or as close together as you want but if you space this one out and this one out we can align this center one to each of those so I'm going to choose a distance of about here and here hold down the command or control key and select the top three go to picture format go to align select distribute horizontally which means there's now an equal space between them align align to top and then group and select group now all of those are one group and then with this one we'll just gently try and line up this one and this one and again this one and this one and select all of them align distribute horizontally align align to bottom group select group and now we can move this one and just check they're all lined up and then we can just move them down you can see that this middle one is not quite lined up you can see it's a little bit higher than the other two so select group go to ungroup align align to middle or align align to top sometimes it takes a few nudges I'm not quite sure why but it does take a few nudges to get it right group and then select group and then you can roughly space it hold down that alter option key to make that movement smooth and then just drag it down and by eye you can create that equal space between the top and the bottom select the two groups go up to align align to center and then group and select group and now you've got one image to align it to the page you select align align to center align align to middle then if you want to save this out as a picture so you can actually use this on social media or on a website just right click go to save as picture and then you can save it as a PNG if you don't want it to have a background and just be transparent but if you save it as a JPEG it will save the white background behind the rectangles so if you want to split your images into more rectangles or different size rectangles then just use the guides in exactly the same way and just create the different rectangles that you want to make something a little bit more quirky so I hope that's helped you today if it has please like and subscribe and have a great day